So, we hit 3,000 subscribers. And you know what that means? I'm gonna have to push up this Q&A video so much. Fuck my life. What's up everyone? Full Animix here. And welcome back to the Procrastination Channel. That's what I am now. If you didn't know. So recently I hit 3,000 subscribers. And I decided to push up the Q&A video. Because... I just have to do something for this, unlike the 2.5 thousand subscriber one. Because I didn't expect that would grow this much, which is why I'm doing this video now. And thank you, to say the least. <laughs> Sometime in the future, I really just want to vent about how difficult it is to grow on YouTube. And I look forward to all of you sticking around and enjoying the hot take opinions I have about some shit ass anime. All right, let's move on. So I've got a couple of questions that you guys have put in, commented, whatever the hell you did, and I'm just going to answer them because, you know, I have to, because that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> so the first question we have Ren Han who asks, what is your dream job slash life? Well, my dream life is to live in a mansion and have a hot wife but I know that's not gonna happen. My dream job is to work in the movie business. I've always loved movies and I've been fascinated by the whole production of movies and the way it's made. And also I just really wanna meet famous people and it's the easiest way to do that. But yeah, I really like video editing and I really like directing cinematography, that's the word. It's something I'm really good at and I really enjoy. So if I had the chance to enter that whole industry, I would probably take it. Whether it be voice acting, directing, producing, acting, whatever the hell, I would probably do it. Because opportunities like that don't come afoot too often. And, you know, it's a good opportunity. <laughs> but my absolute dream would be to direct a really good movie that turns out really well, as is for any other director out there. Moving on to the next question, Curry Cuck asks, other than anime and video games, do you have any other hobbies? I've stated this multiple times. I'm a professional procrastinator, and yet people still ask me this. What the fuck? But for real, my other hobbies include sports. Yes, I go outside. Shut up. And the sport I play is probably the most physical sport that you will ever see in your entire life which is Aussie Rules Football. And if you don't know what that is, you're about to see a clip of someone getting knocked the fuck out. To Weller and Hunt at full pace. He tries to push Viney away. And you do argue at your own peril with Jack Viney. At the moment, the pie, Sire setting up Maynard. Put one right in the guts from Ryan. He's down Maynard. He's winded. He was hoping he had to get out close. Oh, man! Keeps it alive. Dangerous ball to Baker. Sorto driving Polaxic tackle. The final Whitfield. McDonald tipping with oh. him. And he slams him over the line. Taken. Howe is pretty nimble. He needs to be. Courage here from Murphy and Howe. Sherman handballs to Grant. Bang! Josh Hunt cleans him up. He's down and he's hurt. That was a big, hard tackle. I woke up this morning in pain. It's a physically demanding sport and I really enjoy it and I'm sort of good at it. Some people will probably say no and they'll probably be right, but whatever. Now, a big supporter of the YouTube channel, Iru, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, sorry. He asks, in your YouTube career, did you ever think about giving up? And if you did, what got you back on track and keep pushing forward? Um, this is a very good question. Um, I always thought about stopping after the Black Clover video particularly, because I didn't really expect that video to blow up as it did, and I'm just thankful it did, honestly. <laughs> but even now, it's a struggle to do content on anime, which is why a lot of people don't really do that much content on anime nowadays. A lot of people kind of switch to manga and manfra and doing those type of reviews, because in order to do anime reviews, you sort of have to consume to produce, and it's a constant process of continually consuming in order to produce and sometimes you have to consume too much to produce but there were moments before I had this channel where I just simply thought that my editing style my 
comedy, as you could say, wasn't really what people were looking for, maybe, or didn't really enjoy, or I kind of just thought it was just me, who was just a little weirdo, who just everyone didn't like, <laughs> but yeah, it's a constant struggle sometimes of thinking about, should I even bother uploading, should I even continue this whole path or whatever, and of course, that's not the right mindset all the time, but you have to look back on the basics and realize that if people come back to your videos and enjoy your content, then obviously you have a place on the platform. YouTube is the most flexible place on the internet to produce content that you want to produce. And content that you somewhat like, I hate all my videos by the way, but if you have that one person who keeps asking for videos or that one group who keeps wanting you to upload, then you should obviously keep going because that group can expand onto tens of thousands of people like it has for me, which is why I don't want any of you to give up on making content. Now, obviously it would be hard. Nothing is easy in this world. I've been doing YouTube for like seven years. That's sad. <laughs> and it's only now that I realize the certain style that I have and the type of content that I produce now, it takes years to get this right. And I've only now just got it right. And I'm almost 20. What the fuck? Anyway, kind of went on a little tangent on that, but if you guys are thinking about giving up or just stop making content, I just want you to know that there are people that like your content, so I just think you should keep going and keep trying, okay? But to sum it up, if you're thinking about stopping YouTube or stop making videos, just try to remember that there are people out there that want your content and want to consume your content like myself. And you just need to find your groove. You need to find your mojo and just do your mo. What? I've seen this comment floating around about are you going to do manga reviews or manga reviews? And the basic answer to that is not right now. Doing those style of videos doesn't really suit my channel right now. And I'm still trying to get the flow of doing anime content pretty much. And it mostly comes down to the fact that I just haven't consumed any manga or manhwa. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't like reading. <laughs> and I know that manga and manhwa are pretty much just comics or comic books as you could say. Sorry if I offended you by the way. But there are obviously some manga out there that I've thought about making videos on like Chainsaw Man. But unfortunately, they got announced as anime adaptations. So I'll just talk about them when they in an anime. <laughs> but don't completely rule out of me doing manga reviews entirely because I may just do it in the future. It's just, I don't know when. <laughs> Power Gaming asks, can we get an Infinite Stratos review? Three out of 10 would watch again. And unfortunately, that's all of them. I honestly expected more comments and questions, but apparently you guys just don't care about me. Okay, I'll just stop making videos now. I'll just start working at Macca's and throw some fries at people and get a reaction on YouTube and then get popular from that. Anyway, next couple of videos I've got planned out and everything. One's an anime one and one maybe not an anime one. I'm still kind of iffy about that one. And I'm also planning to do the reactionary video. But at the end of the day, people just want more content from me and I really want to produce more content. It's just hard to find the right stuff that will fit my channel is all. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.